Okay, for this example video, uh, we're going to go into um, displaying your data in 3, 3D in ArcGIS Pro. Um, pretty easy and a lot simpler than uh, doing it in, in the old ArcGIS software. Um, this video is going to be fairly short, about three or four minutes or so. So to display your data in uh, ArcGIS Pro, um, you don't even need a DEM anymore. Um, it, it, it has the built-in uh, Z factor already in, um, in its software, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to open up ArcGIS Pro and just open up an existing map project. So you can see I've just got the base map, um, the world boundaries, world imagery and the boundaries and places loaded in and I just clicked on base map and um, once it gets done loading here, uh, just added the imagery with labels and you can see I'm already zoomed in into Casper here. And so now the data that we're going to load in is some drone data that I captured of the Casper College Ranch that's west of west of Casper, and we're going to look at a hillshade and a digital uh, surface model um, that I I was again I captured the, this with with a drone um, this fall of 2018. So I'm going to load those two pieces of data in again a digital surface model and a hillshade. Uh, from a DJI Phantom 4 uh, drone. Again, this is of the Casper College Ranch, west of Casper, and if we zoom in here, we're looking at the hillshade. This is of a field at the ranch um, that an ag class is, is looking at uh, with respect to um, prairie dogs. Those little bumps or craters that you see there are prairie dog holes and they're looking to see where those prairie dog holes are and, and eradicate them maybe. This is such good data. Again, you can see the hay bales there that they left in the field. So really good, accurate uh, drone data. And this is the digital surface model that we're looking at. And so here in a minute we are going to add in a 3D map. So we're going to go to um, we're going to go to insert actually. Once I get over there, yep, insert, and then we're going to click on new map, and we're going to insert a new global scene. Once we insert that global scene, you can see it's automatically zoomed right into the Casper College Ranch. And it, it by default, it adds in a topo map. Uh, you can change that if you want. You can go into the map tab up at the top, and, and you can go into the base map and add in the world imagery if you like. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. So again, map, base map. I'm going to add in the imagery with labels. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename scene one to 3D map, and I'm going to rename map to 2D map so that we're not uh, getting confused here. And then I'm going to copy the hillshade and the digital surface model from the 2D map. I'm going to right click and say copy. And I'm going to paste them into the 3D map. So 
So the cool thing is, is uh, and I'm going to change the symbology here. I'm going to put the DSM above the hillshade. I'm going to change the color ramp to something that's a little more exciting. And I'm going to make the DSM um, uh, transparent. Go to view, or excuse me, I'm going to go to appearance and make it about 50% transparent. And I'm not sure why my hill shade should be. Okay, there we go. Yep, that looks a little better. Um, so the different colors represent the different change in elevation, which this is pretty flat, but. Um, and that's a huge canal that runs around the outside of the property and those bumps there are different pieces of vegetation and if you turn off both pieces of data and look at the world imagery you can see that vegetation but again this is good accurate um, drone data that we're looking at. And then to see things in 3D, you just hold down the roller ball on your mouse and you can just move your mouse up and down. And you can just still see things are pretty flat though. Now this isn't hilly terrain by any stretch of the imagination, but we can exaggerate uh, the vertical exaggeration by a factor. If we click on ground and go up to the appearance, let's exaggerate it by two and you can see what happens. So the hills get, and everything gets exaggerated by a factor of two. And if we spin around here to the south and we look at Casper Mountain, you can see, you can really pick out Casper Mountain now, how it's um, really exaggerated, which makes it kind of nice to see the different hills and valleys. Um, now, again, if we go back to just an exaggeration of one, um, things still, you can still see Casper Mountain, it's just not exaggerated as much as it was. Um, so I think it looks better back with an exaggeration of two, and some people even like it even more, but we'll go ahead and leave it at two. I'll change it back here in a second. Okay, there we are, back to two. Again, you can really see that canal going around the outside. You can really see the prairie dog holes and the ditches that are out in this little field. And also notice the, the drawing speed in ArcGIS Pro is a lot better. Um, you don't have as many crashes as you did with ArcGIS, so it's really a lot better program. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to link the two videos uh, together. So the kind of the cool thing is, is you can link the 2D and the 3D maps together so that when you move around in one, the other map will move with it. It's really easy to do that. Um, and here in a second, we'll get into how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to click on the 3D map and um, yep, so I'm going to click view and here you can, there you can see you can link the views together okay and 
we want to center and scale both views. So I'm going to click on the 3D map, hold down my left mouse button, and I'm going to drag this and put it on the right side of my screen. And there you can see my 2D map is on the left hand side. And now I need to go back up into link views and make sure that that's highlighted in blue. Click on it, highlight it in blue, center and scale, and now if I move in one, you can see both views move, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, when you're moving in one, the other one moves. It's pretty neat. Um, so you can side by side see the two-dimensional and three-dimensional advantages of ArcGIS Pro. That's about it, a quick and dirty video. Of just to, it's, again, it's, the reason it's so quick is because it's so easy now to display your data in 3D in ArcGIS Pro. Before, it wasn't so easy. So, uh, and it's pretty neat to, do, to be able to do so. So, if you have any questions, again, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching the video.